Georgian Prime Minister claims that Russia unleashed war because of Ukraine's desire to join NATO. Here's a summary of the article. According to the Georgian Prime Minister, one of the main reasons for Russian aggression was the expansion of NATO. Garabashvili said, there were many other reasons. I don't want to speculate, I don't want to quote the statements of the Russian government. But one of the reasons was Ukraine's desire to become a member of NATO. So, we see the consequences, Garabashvili said. Earlier, Garabashvili stated that he does not see sufficient efforts on the part of the international community to create conditions that would allow for peace talks in Ukraine. Background. Georgia, which did not support sanctions against Russia set in place after the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, resumed direct flights with Russia in May. In addition, despite the assurances of the Georgian authorities, a Russian airline flying to annexed Crimea received permits for flights. This post received a score of 6,600, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. How dare a sovereign nation decide what it can and can't do? The entire global theater, in its present state, is propped by the comparatively new idea of national sovereignty. Regardless what NATO or Russia does, out global stage exists with one tacitly agreed rule. Nation can do what they want within their own borders. Russia is testing the limits of how much bad faith an actor can use before being challenged, and even nations that oppose Russia are paying close attention to what the international community will tolerate. Support for Ukraine isn't a spirited support for Ukraine's people but the beneficiaries of the global stage conserving their status quo. Greater than support for Ukraine isn't a spirited support for Ukraine's people but the beneficiaries of the global stage conserving their status quo. I'd say it's both. Sometimes the right thing to do and the expedient thing to do are the same thing, and we should celebrate when that happens because it makes a lot of decisions that much easier. Exactly. I've heard that in war you want to give your enemy dilemmas, choose between two plus bad, difficult options. Putin did the exact opposite of that. Putin assumed that other countries operate by the same rules and logic as Russia does. He assumed wrong. Isn't it more that he assumed that the response to Crimea being taken would be repeated and that the US, EU, rest of the world would just kind of shrug? I mean, he poisoned people in the UK and got a stern letter more or less. Vacationing? Russian troops shot down a passenger plane and he got about the same. Add that to the assumption that the US, EU were too busy with internal squabbling to worry about what little Vlad was doing in Ukraine and how could he not do it? Well, that kind of lends credibility to the NATO thing, doesn't it? They seem justified in worrying about Russian aggression, don't they? There's a reason why Eastern European countries immediately began processes to join NATO after the USSR dissolved. Russia has not exactly been a friendly good neighbor. You don't see Poland, Bulgaria, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania, Slovakia and Slovenia being invaded, right? Absurdly common NATO W. I thought it was denazification? Or, wait, was it desatanification? No, it was anti-wokeness. Hang on, it was because of American bioweapons. No, no. It was because the Ukrainian identity didn't actually exist. No, that's not it. It's NATO. Don't forget about it's because of Russian speakers being oppressed. The same justification that Hitler used to invade Austria and the Ukrainian super soldiers. Genuinely the funniest so far. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.